Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. So, uh, hopefully the couple of patches the devs have done since the uh, release of this content release um, have ironed out some of the major or annoying bugs that exist with, uh, that are that sort of came alongside it. So we're going to go ahead and hop in and record Blue Shift today. So, lead a daring rescue mission deep into the heart of the Terran Empire, but can your allies be trusted, or is loyalty stronger than vengeance? Admiral Janeway and a team of specialists have finalized a plan to liberate one of our own from the Terran Empire. The consultants from the Mirror Universe have been helpful in this effort, and we'll be working alongside the Admiral in the upcoming rescue operation. Together, we're hoping to put an end to the plans of the Terran Emperor before he has the chance to see them come to fruition. I'd like you to join the team and work with them to bring Lieutenant Ilea back home. Report to Admiral Janeway at Jupiter Station. Good luck. Will do. Let's go ahead and transwarp on over there. And begin blue shift. And this is going to be one of those slow loading screens, clearly. God, I can't stand these slow loading screens. Some of these are just... Uh, they're really slow at certain points for just reasons, as far as I can tell. Like, there's, there's no logical reason for it. You made it. Good. Ready to get started? Ready and able, Admiral. That's what I like to hear. Once we've made the transition to the Mirror Universe, we'll use some misdirection tactics. Turnabout's fair play, so we'll be engaging the Terrans at their version of Jupiter Station. During the chaos, your strike team will disembark on a Terran runabout and head for their primary space dock. Once you're on board, you'll conduct rescue operations. Understood. While you're extracting Ilea, I'll lead our starship force and keep the Terrans busy. Once you've sent the signal, we'll warp to Terra and collect you at the extraction point. From there, we'll make the transition back to this universe. That's assuming everything goes smoothly, of course. Be ready to improvise if the Terrans decide to complicate matters. Of course, Admiral. And speaking of Terrans, you'll need to beam our consultants from the Mirror Universe to your ship before we cross over. They'll be joining your team on the operation. They're standing by for transport once you're in range. If you think that's a good idea, understood. We'll pick them up on our way to the transition point. This is the Juno. We've completed major repairs and are moving into formation. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't recall which version of the Odyssey we were using here. Okay, let's go ahead and beam the Terrans on board um, as we just pass straight over Voyager. Because this ship does not slow down quickly. And it can drift like there's no tomorrow. Especially when you're going full speed. Lita to bridge. The Marshal and I are on board and ready to begin. The Innsbruck reports the portal device is charged and ready. Technically speaking, couldn't we have just headed over here first to beam them up? You know, beam them over while we're already here sitting in formation. We didn't have to go all the way back there to do it. Turing to fleet. We are in position and ready to begin. That's everyone. Once you're ready, the Innsbruck will open the portal and will travel to the Mirror Universe. <laughs> Objective is just called Knock Knock. 
Okay, Innsbruck, go ahead, open the portal. Innsbruck to fleet. The portal is open for business. Attention. Let's see about keeping it. All ships, this is Admiral Janeway. Engage the Terran vessels. Red alerts all hands battle stations. Keep an eye on long range sensors. Once reinforcements are en route, we'll begin phase two of the operation. We need to hit them hard. Make them desperate enough to fall back. For a Terran requesting aid. Fancy. Here we go. Don't pull any punches. I know they won't. Shields at maximum and weapons free. Be sure to protect the Innsbruck. She's our ticket home. Yeah, these guys aren't gonna stand a chance. We did it. They're calling for reinforcements. The misdirection worked. We rattled the Terrans enough to call for backup. That gives us time to begin the next phase of the operation. You're up. Disembark on the Terran runabout and head to Terra at top speed. We'll remain here and keep them busy. Hopefully we'll buy you enough time to complete your objectives. Of course, I can only assume that we must have, you know, brought the Terran runabout to our ship at some point uh, between missions or something. Uh, good luck, Admiral. Same to you. Ah, uh, a word of advice. Keep an eye on your Terran teammates. Neither of them got to where they were in the Empire without the use of treachery. That's good advice. We'll be waiting for your signal. Once we have it, we'll come to pick you up. Be ready to make a hasty exit. I don't think any of us want to remain at the heart of the Terran Empire any longer than we have to. Sounds like a sound plan. Next stop, TSD. That was not a very enthusiastic glory to the Empire, buddy. Ready weapons and prepare to disembark. We need to keep them off balance. As long as they're scrambling, we'll have a decent chance of pulling this off. If we give them time to think, to organize... Uh, yeah, sure, whatever you say, Janeway. Uh, just want to note, again, that the... Uh, Jesus Christ. Um, the, uh, uh... God, what was... The traffic control dude, basically. Um, yeah, he should probably... Well, let's get through this, and then I'll continue, because the OBS does not like having this fucking UI up for some reason. Uh, right. It gets a lot harder at that point. So, let's get moving. We need to take operations and find out where they're keeping your Delta. Move out. The Exocomps will make short work of the database security in Ops. They'd better, or this operation will end in failure. I have zero clue as to what OBS's uh, issue is, but when I'm recording here, it, it just does not like that uh having those conversation uis up for some reason but as i was saying uh that traffic control dude that was not a very enthusiastic for the empire Marshal Jane, here? 
Who were you expecting? The ghost of Emperor Zorro? <laughs> So I think we might need to, you know, have him executed or something. The controls for the blast doors are over there. Hey, what do you exocomps needs to hack this door control? I mean, I, I can only assume OBS's issue is not really OBS's, it's more of just the uh, AMD's, you know, en encoding engine is not the greatest, and it just for some reason really struggles there. Although I'm not 100% certain, because, you know, OBS reports it as rendering lag, not encoding lag. So to me, that would indicate that, it, you know, it has no problem encoding it. It's just, it cannot render it for some reason. And it's, this is the only game that has, like, an obvious issue like that. Exocomp, get to work. I'll crack that code like an egg, Marshall. Most components didn't stand a chance against me. Security, they paid you off. Uh, do we have people out here? Yes, we do. Let's take care of these guys first. Clear the room. Let's get what we came here for. And here I was, hoping Quinn would be around so I could relieve him of his duty. Permanent. Yeah, sorry, don't work like that. Come on. God damn, that chief engineer just does not die. You know, I thought this would be a lot harder. Well, don't say that. Okay, Exocomps, time to earn your pay. Crack their security and find out where they're keeping Starfleet's hairless wonder. It'll be up to us to keep the security teams off of them while they work. Acknowledge ready weapons. Yeah, a little less sass and a lot more hacking get for brains. This place is gonna be crawling with Terrans real soon. It's already crawling with Terrans. In fact, serial killer is about to go down. He's like at half health. Uh, for some reason, those guys are just going to stand there and let me shoot at them, so thanks for that, guys. I mean, I'm not going to complain, I'm just going to point it out. They're filling me full of holes over here! Are they? Acid burn is about to die. They disabled one of the exocops. Fix it fast. How? Oh. Uh, it doesn't help that we apparently have some dudes who are just hiding in the shadows here. God damn it. The Terrans just love all these, like, hold and root abilities, it seems like, because they just have tons of them. They one of the Fix it fast. Damn it, serial killer. Okay, we're in. Okay. Let's see where your super cyborg is, shall we? Oh, first we gotta take care of another wave that spawned right there at the end.
found her. Eileen is on deck 74 in a security station. Not good. We all know what happens in one of those, and it usually begins with an agonizer booth. Then we need to hurry. Damn right we do. If they lock the station down before we get there, it's all over. For her and for us. We need to get out of here. There's a turbo lift in the main concourse we can take to reach deck 74 quickly. Understood. Let's get to that turbo lift and head to deck 74. Exocomps, get back to the runabout and get her ready for a quick getaway. We'll keep the engine running, Admiral. Did you hear that? She wants me to pilot the runabout over my dead chassis. You can barely fly yourself, let alone a runabout. Yeah. There she is. We just said to keep it warm. We didn't say anything about any of you piloting it. The terror of the Delta Club. Indeed. And I will. Mark my word. You know, you gotta take out the medics because they're just gonna get everybody back up, which is annoying. Of course, you gotta deal with the engineers also just plopping down a bunch of turrets everywhere. Oh, there's a turret back here that's shooting at you guys, and rather than just running up there and shooting at it, you're just going to stand around there getting shot by it, and somebody's going to throw a grenade. Oh, AI. They'll be tracking us by now. Stay sharp. Keep moving. We can't give them time to focus. Oh shit, that's a lot of them. And they were camping corners. God damn it, turret blew up and or shield generator, whatever it was, blew up and knocked me back. Heads up! Security streaming in! Oh, uh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna step further back so you guys aren't shooting me in the back. So much for being trapped. Uh, okay now, seriously. Did the Emperor lower the standards for security while we were away? No. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit, that's some bad rubber banding that we just had right there. And it had been going so well so far. Son, my favor outranks Captain Tilly, and it says you're relieved. Okay, I'm stealing your favor. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get back. Try to get my shields and health back up. Quickly, Ilea is on the other side of these doors. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to take your word for that because I can't really open the door. Way too much shit has popped up. And I don't care to loot it all. staying right where she is. Come on out. Let's settle this like Terrans. Yeah, come on out so I can end you and take back my ship. Yeah, hard pass. I have better things to do than tussle with a pair of old has-beens. Still, if you really want to fight, the Inquisitor is here to give you one. This will be fine. There's only room for one of us in the universe. And it isn't you. Oh, you are sorely mistaken. 
other me. You got your own escort? I got mine. And look at that, I can also call in some... Damn you, science officer. Shield disabled. Take out the Inquisitor. Oh shit. Uh, trust you. You, you may want to move. Tilly's machine is recharging. Being in a squad, I don't want to leave anything to chance here. Reinforcements incoming. Take them out. Uh, we were already dealing with reinforcements. Oh shit. Um. Okay. We're not using that console. Because it's, you know, all, all kind of... Oh, okay, uh, there... I cannot access any of these consoles. Oh, here we go, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's a little hard to do that when the consoles are all blocked by agonizer fields. Shield disabled! Take out the Inquisitor! So, if you don't mind, Lita, if you could just shut up, please. Heads up. Tilly's activating her machine again. There we go again. Turn off the agonizers. Tilly's machine is recharging. Uh, trust in our Borg. One of two are all down. Get to that console to shut it down. Shield disabled. Take out the oh shit! Just you know, don't, don't zap me, please. Tilly's activating her machine again. God damn it! Tilly's machine is recharging. We have a problem. Several Federation vessels. Oh shit! I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I have what I need from the Delta Inquisitor. We're leaving. This isn't over. Sooner or later, I will. How could the Inquisitors pissing off? Yeah, Marshal. But not today. Be seeing ya. Let's get our crew back up. There we go. Okay, let's discuss the escape plan. We need to get out of here. I can set up a site-to-site -site transport, but we'll need to deal with the transporter disruptors in the room first. Understood. Let's get to work. Later. Get those transporter disruptors offline. I'm on it. The sooner we're out of here, the better. While she's working, enable Ilya's pod for transport. Okay. Transporter disruptors are offline. We're all set. All right. We're good to go here. Ready to beam out when you are, Marshal. Good. Prepare for transport. Time to settle a little personal business. We made it. Wait, hold on. Where the hell is Marshal Janeway? We don't really have time, Lita. We don't really have the time to deal with that. So how about we focus on getting out of here? Business for herself. <laughs> Typical. Is Aaliyah aboard the runabout? Slot Martin stable, but we aren't going anywhere anytime soon with those anchor bay doors locked. Exocomps, get out here. We've got work to do. It won't take long before Terran security traces our transporter signal here, so we're gonna have to move quickly. The Exocomps will need to hack the terminals on the far side of the bay. While they work, we'll provide covering fire. Once the hangar bay doors are open, we need to get back to the runabout and take off before the hangar bay doors close and lock us in. I hope you're up for a fight. I don't think they'll let us go without a proper Terran goodbye. I assume that involves a lot of phaser fire and destruction. Here we go again. Escort the exopops to the hangar door. Then help me back to the security. 
God damn rooting and holding. Oh, only two this time game, really? You gypped me this time. Also, at least you actually gave me my crew this time. I think the first time I played this mission on my main, uh, my away team did not come with me. All my bridge officers? Yeah, no, they just decided we're going to stay back in the other room. I didn't realize until, like, near the end, when I finally told them to come back. Not that it mattered. Because the fighting had already stopped by then. I mean, they showed up in the cutscene and everything. They just, I guess, failed to actually get brought over here. For whatever reason, the shield generator just also seems to just wreck OBS's ability to actually render the frames for encoding. Uh, that's all of them. Let's get the hell out of here. Hangar doors are opening. Let's get back to the runabout and escape. Yeah, let's go. Escape. See? The Terran Babai. Aw, oh, sweet. They really don't want us to leave. But we're leaving anyway. See ya! Apparently they suck at shooting as well. Uh, and apparently my ship is literally right there. We came as soon as we could. Unfortunately, the Terrans we were fighting at Jupiter Station decided to follow us. As you can see, they're out for blood. We're going to have to fight our way out of here. Understood. All hands, red alert. The Innsbruck needs time to charge the portal device. Time's a luxury we don't have. Every Terran in range is closing in on us. Not true, Lita. We have plenty of time. Following Voyager, we've got your six admiral. Turn on the switch. We'll get into the five baby. Protect the infant. Without her, we're not going anywhere. Oh shit. Okay, maybe I was a little optimistic. I don't know what that was, but they just royally screwed our shields. But is it a one-way ticket? I respect Innsbruck, get that portal device online. Face it, you're done. Make the smart move and give up. Not gonna happen. We're not done until I kick your corpse off of my ship. She's not yours anymore, traitor. The Emperor gave Enterprise a word. Tactical. Engage cloak. Get repaired. Defiance is under cloak. Stay sharp. Well, well. The Tactical. Of fire at will. Target our enemies and fire at will. The Defiant just dropped out a cloak. Yeah, the audio doesn't quite play nicely. Now that's something I wasn't expecting. Nice if you could join us. 
Your opponents owe me a pound. Oh, the Enterprise is not enjoying this, I'm sure. I believe I've had enough fun for today. Be seeing you. Okay, no, you are in the Rescava. We're just gonna ignore the, uh, the Defiant. Let's focus down the Enterprise. Uh, okay, you did saucer separation and then you decided, never mind. Looked a little more like it exploded, to be honest. Well fought. Perhaps my choice of allies. Watch your back, Inquisitor. There's an unhealthy number And I just of rammed straight into the Juno. Including mine. Well, this has been an interesting experience. But I think it's time we parted company. You should return to your universe while you can. That's the plan. Oh, what about you, Marshal? For now. I plan on staying alive and making life as difficult as possible for Tilly and her lackeys. I'm not finished with them. Not by a long shot. Understood. Good luck with that, Marshal. Odin out. On that note, let's get the hell out of here. I've had my fill of the mirror universe. Okay, yeah, let's open the portal and get out of here. We made it, and without any Terrans tagging along. Let's get Ilea back to Jupiter Station. She may require medical assistance. Understood. Helm, take us to Transporter Range from Jupiter Station. Should that be Transporter Range of Jupiter Station, not from Jupiter Station? I don't know, maybe it's just me. You are in Transporter Range now. Prepare idea for secure transport. Okay, prepare for transport. Ilea's pod is reading all systems nominal. We're ready to transmit the secure transport protocol. Okay. Initiate STP. Because why not? Oh god. And we get to play minigame. I forgot about that. Protocols verified and confirmed. We're ready for transport. Because, you know, why not slap in a random minigame? Okay, be my Leah to Jupiter Station. Ilea is secure on Jupiter Station. Please come alongside, Voyager. Are, are you sure you want me to come alongside? As I, you know, s just sort of gently ram into Jupiter Station. See, my helmsman is uh, just a tad bit drunk, so maybe we don't try to pilot. Or maybe they get a concussion. During the fighting. And should probably be heading off to med bay. Okay. It's, uh, if, uh, zero reason why- oh, we're beaming over, never mind. Ilya is in good hands. The medical team on Jupiter Station will take good care of her. I'd like to go over things with you on Voyager. Let's see if we can make some sense out of all this. Yeah, let's. Okay, talk to Admiral Lita. I don't like leaving unfinished business behind. Tilly still has my ship. And Kubarke is still breathing. That needs to change soon. Still, if Marshal Janeway can get her ship back, so can I. Who knows? Maybe we'll team up? <laughs> Be outlaws together. Stranger things have happened. Indeed, especially over the last few hours. Admiral? It won't be easy for my mirror counterpart. 
She's practically a pirate now. And I suspect the Terrans will do all they can to make an example of her. Based on what I've seen, they've got their work cut out for them. Indeed they do. The Marshal is very... tenacious. The good news? We pulled it off. Bad news? Terrans don't like to lose. They'll be back. I don't know, they do a lot of losing. Let them come. Jupiter Station was a wake-up call. Next time, we'll be ready. They needed Ilea for something. But for what? We still have a lot of unanswered questions. And I don't think we're going to like the answers. Vija, the other is coming. The other is coming! Nice work out there. Ilea is safe once more. We need to learn more about the Emperor's objectives. To that end, agents of Starfleet Intelligence are joining forces with covert operatives from our partners in the Alliance. They'll be conducting operations in the Mirror Universe and, with luck, we'll have intel on the Emperor's plan soon. I'll contact you when we have more information. Until then, stay safe out there. Will do, Quinn. Will do. Just double check. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I didn't do... I didn't get my daily progress earlier today. Okay, and that gives us a melee weapon that I will never use because... Why would I use a melee weapon? Um, I mean, I'll take it. I'll keep it. I'll put protect status on it just so that, you know... Game don't do funky shit with it, because God, the game will do funky shit with it if it feels so inclined. You, you literally cannot trust this game. Especially with the, uh, the current... <laughs> the current content release, which introduced a handful of just really annoying bugs. Some people don't run into them, some people have. I've been lucky so far that I haven't really run into them. Oh, but I fully expect that it'll happen at some point. Uh, but that'll be it for this part. I will see you all next time where we will play the second mission that was added with this content release, The Calling. Uh, but like I said, that'll be next time. So until then, quick reminder, if you want to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, any changes to my recording schedule and the like, uh, such as, you know, I had to reinstall Windows recently because of technical issues on my end. Uh, that is one reason why you might want to go ahead and uh, join the Discord so you can know about that because that is interfering with my recording schedule. Some stuff is going on hold for a while while I try to get back to where we were. Um, and other stuff I just, you know, I wasn't able to record. So, I, it's going to result in some gaps in videos being published. Um, so yeah, like I said, I highly recommend you join the Discord if you want to stay up to date with anything that affects the channel. Um, obviously I, I post other stuff there sometimes as well, but generally speaking, it's mostly focused on the channel. Um, if you want to support the channel financially, the two major ways to do that are either via Patreon or Streamlabs. Uh, Patreon allows you to do, you know, monthly, uh, well, Patreon pledges, basically. Um, and Patreon themselves take a 5% cut, uh, in my case at least. And you get some goodies, such as early access to videos and things of that nature. Um, in the case of this series, the only one that really matters is the early access to videos. Um, if you go the, the Streamlabs route, Streamlabs themselves do not take a cut. However, they do not have a nice, easy system for you to be able to, you know, basically authenticate, um, donations, tips, whatever you want to call them, uh, between multiple platforms. 
um, as far as I know. Uh, as a result, you do not get any goodies if you go the Streamlabs route. Uh, the only goodie you get, basically, is the warm, fuzzy feeling inside your stomach, or wherever it would be, that more of the money you give actually makes its way to the channel itself, as opposed to having middlemen that take their cuts. Um, I, obviously, there are some people that will take cuts nonetheless in that case, but generally speaking, generally speaking, the channel will take home a much larger cut of whatever you give. And if you just want to do one time donations via Streamlabs, you can, but they have for a while now supported the ability to do monthly. Uh, it's entirely up to you what you want to do if you want to support the channel in either of those two various capacities. Uh, but yeah, so I'll see you all next time. Until then, goodbye and farewell.